You know how many drills it took? You know how many times I went into the gym after walk-on games, after park games, never played a my career game? Seven well defended plays to get me to max defensive stopper. Hall of Fame. And I also got chased out on this to silver and bruiser maxed out at gold. It's about damn time. I made this build back in October. And I still didn't have Hall of Fame defensive stopper on the chase down. Oh, looking like LeBron James. I mean, what a block, man. Get that out of here. But most of you are thinking, how well is defensive stopper, man? How does defensive stopper Hall of Fame change the game? Remember I said it might be the best badge in NBA 2K18 because of what it can do? Well, I did play a couple games just to try out defensive stopper. Of course, on the park, I'm usually playing small forward. And the thing about defensive stopper is you see this man just made a hook shot. Defensive stopper is supposed to drop hook shots and that's an athletic finisher. Now, he was getting blocked. He wasn't really dominating me for what I was, which was a small forward, obviously. Of course, he's going to get his points because he's a big man. He's an athletic finisher. And you guys know athletic finishers. I keep telling you, athletic finishers are beasts, man. But he couldn't really stay on this lockdown defender the whole game. So Hall of Fame defensive stopper, I must say, I do notice some differences with the way my lockdown is playing. First of all, I feel like I'm getting a lot more blocks, man. Now, it might be, it might be because of Silver Chase Down Artist, but I really doubt that because Chase Down Artist only works and only activates on fast breaks. And I've been getting a lot more blocks just in general. The, the accuracy of my blocks have been increased. So that's one thing I do know. The second thing is that defensive stopper, if you do know, drops everyone's ball control. Defensive stopper drops standing three, moving three, contested three, standing mid, moving mid, contested mid, shot close, drop foul, pass accuracy, pass vision, and the all, along with all the post moves and post control and stuff like that, ball control. So... Defensive stopper dropping ball control by like now nine points apparently. That means it's going to be easier to get steals on a lot of players. And you do know defensive stopper on park works on everybody. I think it works a little bit differently for pro man, But defensive stopper on park works on everybody. So people have really low ball controls. Not only that, Hall of Fame defensive stopper erases every buddy's badges unless you have a hall of fame badge your badge is getting completely erased so all these dual archetypes out there which most of the people are dual archetypes because if you really think about it right pure sharpshooters there's not a lot of pure i mean there's a lot of pure sharpshooters but that's basically it you got pure slash shooters you got pure slashers you don't see a lot of pure playmakers you don't see a lot of actually lockdown defenders in general I mean, you don't see a lot of post, pure post scorers and stuff like that, pure athletic finishes and stuff like that. So it's not going to be a whole bunch of people with multiple Hall of Fame badges. Now, of course, you know, the playmaking shot creator has its fair share of Hall of Fame badges. I believe three, if I can remember properly. But you're not going to come into across a lot of builds with four or five Hall of Fame badges. So... It really puts you at an advantage, man. I mean, think about it. If you're basically erasing people's entire badge, and even if they do have the badge at Hall of Fame, that badge is being dropped all the way to bronze. So now if you're facing, if you're facing a sharpshooter now, and you're right by him, if you're standing right next to the sharpshooter, they can no longer be making contested shots like they used to make. Now, all of a sudden, all their, all their badges, if they got the badges at Hall of Fame. Now, this is if they have the badge at even Hall of Fame. If they got Limitless Range Hall of Fame, Deep Range Jedi Hall of Fame, you know, and a Standing 3 or a Contested 3 at 99, well, that Contested 3 is being dropped. And not only that, all their Hall of Fame badges are being dropped to bronze. So, them taking a shot while you're in their face you might not even be jumping and this is why i don't even you don't even when you see me play as my lockdown defender sometimes i might just go to a person and not even jump at the at the contest i might not even jump at the shot because i'm like 
save the time, save the energy. I can be getting back on defense or getting up the court while I'm just standing right next to the person because I'm a lockdown defender. I got 99 shot contests. I got 95, 99 on ball defense. There's no reason for me to really be jumping at a lot of people if they're taking a shot right in my face. I mean, I have defensive stopper. I have 99 defense. So even if they make, even if they take the shot in my face, the likelihood of them making a shot is very, very low. It's almost near impossible. That's why you don't see me contesting a lot of shots. Now, if I'm facing a big man, obviously I got to try to contest that because big men are a different story. They're probably a little bit stronger than me. And they're probably going to get a lot of more calls and a lot of more you know shots going in because they're big men and they're bigger men bigger than me in general of course but hall of fame defense is stopping man listen is it gonna change the game maybe or maybe not depending on how you play but i do welcome it because i do feel like it does give me a psychological advantage in my mind that i believe that no shot is going to be going in man and so far through all the games i played against legitimate opponents that can actually score the ball and i'm talking about builds that can actually pretty much score because i faced some people of course while having hall of fame defense stop i faced the lockdown defender of course shout out to that guy but uh of course facing offensive builds i feel like hall of fame defensive stopper is gonna matter a lot man especially if you got defense i mean think about it you got defensive anchor hall of fame pickpocket 98 steal and you're dropping people's ball control by nine and you got hall of fame deep i mean in reality anybody who's dribbling the ball and they're not a type of playmaker or they don't have playmaking as one of their freaking uh and as as you can even see in this prime game i'm easily stripping this sharpshooter easily stripping him and i haven't been getting strips like this in a long time remember i said about the steal in 2k uh, 18 is more about poking the ball out instead of just stripping the ball and just actually stealing it Well now all of a sudden I'm getting a whole bunch of more strips and then leading to a steal man So it's leading to a lot of more fast break points, which I'm glad about so Hall of Fame defensive stopper is gonna help your whole defensive game It's gonna help you get more steals. It's gonna help Hall of Fame pickpocket it's gonna help Hall of Fame chase it, uh, chase down all this too. So if you got all those badges, man, it's all gonna work in your favor. So, anyways, man, it definitely took a long time to get this badge down. The best way to to get this badge, in my opinion, is to do the drills and do guard defense uh wing, man. That that is one of the good drills to do because you can get a lot of points for well defended plays. I mean, listen. Well defended plays in this game, people actually have to take a shot and you have to get good shot contests. And sometimes if people see you're facing a lockdown defender, they're not going to take the shot, man. So that's why defensive stopper might take a while to get. Of course, you can play my career, but my career is so annoying for a lockdown defender because you never know when the AI is going to shoot or what the AI wants to do. So it's just too much, you know, uncertainty. But anyways, man. It finally happened, finally got defensive stop after all these months, man. It took a long time. But anyways, man, like I said, leave a like for more. I'm out for now.